Hi guys and welcome back to our next episode where we are going to be going past the football ground to the B&Q roundabout following the road ahead at that one and then turning right at the second one the Mall Road roundabout to follow up the signs for Chester and as you can see by the picture here we want to be ending up in the lane with CHTR on to exit the roundabout down onto the A483 for Chester so it's quite a little tricky roundabout really because uh, well two roundabouts combined into one and you've got to swap lanes a little bit uh, on a couple of occasions but we've highlighted them with the usual blue arrow so you will be uh, able to to note those points and uh, I'll put in as many tips as I can what I've noticed that people uh, tend to position wrongly on the driving test so again I'd like to thank you all for the uh, the wonderful comments and support for our channel we really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed we'd like you to click the subscribe button and please leave any comments below for any roundabouts in the Wrexham, Chester, Oswestry or whatever areas you would like us to cover and we'll take the trip out there and we'll sort them out for because we're nearly sort them out for you because we're nearly through all the Wrexham roundabouts. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at the Wrexham B and Q roundabout following the road ahead and turning right for Chester at the Mall Road roundabout. So here again we have Nicholas behind the driving wheel coming up past the Wrexham football ground and following the road ahead. So we're taking up the centre lane on this one. The left hand lane is to turn left for B&Q and if you're going left at the second roundabout for Oswald Street. Uh, this middle one is for Mould so that's a good way to remember outside Oswald Street middle Mould. And on the right hand lane where the black car is, that's turning for Sainsbury's. So once we get onto the roundabout, we maintain that position that we approached in, the centre lane. And as we exit the roundabout, now we have to start thinking about moving to the right lane for the next turn. So there'll be plenty of mirrors, signal and uh, checks manoeuvre to take us over to that lane there, where we would now have our right signal on indicating that we are turning right for Chester. Once we've assessed the traffic from the right, we enter the roundabout and we remain in the Chester lane, as you can see CHTR on the road there. Now this is a bit where some people don't quite get it right. They tend to stay a bit too tight to the roundabout. Now obviously you don't want to come over immediately, but as you get um, maybe a third of the way through this turn, then you do need to be bringing your car to the left to pick up the line to uh, which is the borderline of the Chester lane you'll see it just coming into view shortly and I've put the arrow there when it just comes into view you'll see the white line which is there that's you need your car right by that line as you come round so you avoid going back round the roundabout again in the Wrexham lane and as you can see we've got Chester on the lane there the lights are on green so Nicholas goes through left signal to confirm we're leaving and we're down onto the A483 slip road for Chester and that is the way to do it. Thank you for watching, guys. See you soon.